Hey everyone, Bob Downey here. Gonna talk shortly just about how to fish a wing dam on a river system. So wing dams are man-made rock jetties that extend out towards the main river channel. And you know, largemouth and smallmouth love hanging around them really at all times of the year. And the most important thing, um, first of all, to find the right wing dam is generally finding the one that has a good concentration of bait fish around it. That's why those fish are gonna set up in that area. On a river system, you may have you know, 20, 30 different wing dams throughout the river, and the one that they're set up on that day is usually where the bait's gonna be present. So that's number one. Number two um, is looking for little intricacies along these wing dams. Sometimes there'll be a little blowout in the middle of them where you've got a bunch of rock and then a, a little blowout with you know, sand, for example, that was either man-made or created during flood waters. Those little areas are, are generally pretty key on these wing dams where fish will set up. There's a decent smallie on a wing dam. Just threw up above it, drug the swim bait down through there. Looks like he's been caught before. Good chunky fish. Typical wing dam fish throwing up above it, dragging right right through it. He was sitting right below the rock on the back side of it out of the current, just waiting for bait fish to flow over the top. Grab the swim bait. Pretty typical wing dam fish. We've got a little bit of a break here. We've got a high spot on this side and a little bit higher spot there and a little push through. And that fish was sitting right around that push through area. And then there's two ways really to approach it. You can either fish on the downstream side of it, cast upstream and drag your bait over the top. And there's also times where being on the top side of it and swinging your bait down towards the wing dam is a better presentation. And really you can use winding baits like a crankbait, a swim bait, um, you know, spinner bait, that sort of deal. Or you can drag like a tube or a net or a Carolina rig. And lastly is top water. You know, there's certain times of the year where those bait fish are really getting pushed around on wing dams. Um, by smallmouth and largemouth in a topwater walking bait or a popper can be really good too. So if you've got wing dams on your river system, definitely give them a try. Hop around, fish, you know, five to ten of them until you start to find the active ones. And when you find the active ones, there's usually going to be a good concentration of fish. You can sit there and catch, you know, a good handful of fish off of one wing dam if they're really stacked up. Really fun way to fish, something a little bit different. So quickly, just how to identify a wing dam. Uh, basically, you can see it on your map if your map has them sometimes marked. And if your map doesn't, it's pretty easy to verify them visually with your eyes. Right here, we've got one in front of us. We've got real slick water up above it. You can see the slick spots, and that's actually right on top of the wing dam. And then the riffles right below it is that current carrying over the wing dam getting ruffled up and moving on down the river so from a distance they're very easy to identify it's not just a flat calm piece of water you've got some riffles above it a real slick spot right where the rock is and then riffles right after the wing dam if you got a river system with wing dams definitely give them a try